So now what are you going to make up? We've yeah. talked about so much today, I dare you to try something different. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I mean, that shocked the hell out of me. Uh, I'm sitting here today with Mike Finnegan, the incredible B3 Hammond organ player that has uh, been... And sing, too. And he's, God, I know. I over, I, I, that's I twice. Every <laughs> in this book. Okay? So how about... Mike, <laughs> Mike Finnegan's here and enjoying the Bluesy News Magazine. And don't make fun of me anymore. I don't know if my... my okay, little, she could. Yeah, <laughs> Sherry Porto. She's a friend. I don't know what she's doing, but I like it. Even she, I got hung up on the picture there for a moment. There's KK. And you know, you know El- yeah, I've got the picture of you and Elbow. Anyway, um, when I last uh, saw you and El- Elvin together, it was up at the Simi Cajun Blues Festival up yeah. in Simi Valley. Yeah, that and was, uh, that, that was, was a lot of fun. And you were singing up there. It sounded really good oh, with, uh, with, <laughs> with uh, what's her name? The, uh, um, the Hutch was he playing with? Kara Granger. Kara Granger. And I played with Curtis a little bit, too. Yeah, that's right, Curtis Salgado. And, and yes, and Mike sings with the band, with the Phantom Blues well, band. I mean, the only reason I mention that is like, I sing. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, it's nice to, you know, just be, I happen to be uh, a double threat. Yeah. Well, this is a really beautiful uh, magazine. It's slick. Thank you. Looks like a real professional uh, uh, effort, man. You guys should be very proud. You don't normally read uh, music magazines, I'm told. Well, I do. I mean, no, I mean, I do read them, you know, but not too many. You know, when I was a kid growing up, I used to read Downbeat because mm-hmm. I was hip. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and uh, just the, the idea of, like, reading about these people that were as unreachable to me is like Clark Gable would be or something or you know like uh, Brad Pitt or something you know like at, at the time when I was a, a teenager it's like a magazine about these guys it's wild you know they didn't have any uh, blues publications then or uh, Rolling Stone didn't even exist yet you know so this is great now you realize that this is the gear guide, which came from the NAMM show. So that's what this is. This is the gear guide. The the uh, the, the one he mentioned a little while ago had yeah. uh, uh, Johnny Winter and Walter Trout uh, articles coming out as uh, features. Yeah. Well, I played and with Debbie. Here she is. Oh, that Debbie Davies. Yeah, I played with Coco. I did a couple albums with him. I played with Jimmy. Jimmy Thackeray. Jimmy Thackeray. And you'd like to work with... Uh, I played with Elvin. You'd like to work with Sherry Porto, I understand. I would. And uh, you said Elbow. I got. I was thinking of Elvin. Yeah, me and Elvin go way back, man. I've known Elvin for decades. You know, I actually heard... I didn't meet Elvin, but I heard Elvin for the first time in... in um, like 1967 or something in that same place I told you about that I heard Jack McDuff. It was a, with a Butterfield band. Yeah, it was like you know, and I'm, I didn't meet him until I moved to the Bay Area. But good. you know what? I I called Elvin not too long ago because uh, I heard a um, a Prairie Home Companion. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was you know a couple months ago, and and, and uh, he was on. And so I called him. You know, he just had a birthday here recently, I think. At any rate, I should have called him. <laughs> but I called him up to tell him, hey, I heard John Prairie Home Companion. And he goes, oh, man, that's a replay. <laughs> and he goes, but thanks for calling. And me and Lee Squire, man, I've done a ton of work with Lee. Hell, I knew Lee when, he had a, when it was a goatee. <laughs> He was so handsome back then. He's, he's, one of the, not a, he's a fantastic musician and a really, really great guy. Yeah, he's a sweet guy, man. Very funny. And here's the studio, huh? Astro's place. Yeah, that was cool when we did that little deal up there. That was a very impressive place. Go on, yeah, well, the Phantom Blues Band, we, we, we just did an album with, uh, as I mentioned when we were doing the radio. Uh, Curtis. Well, Curtis, we did his album. That it, it's not done yet. We, uh, he still got to do some vocals on that. And then we, Tony and I, produced an album for a guy that everybody. I want everybody to watch. D. Uh, D. A. Foster. D. A. Foster. He's. Uh, that sounded Matthews. good. Yeah, it's funky, man. And he came out to and did a, did the album with the Phantom Band, and. Um, 
that's coming out in January, and um, the Phantoms are going back to the Midwest to play three shows in Topeka, Wichita, and Kansas City. So we, we've been keeping our hand in, and uh, uh, we haven't played back there for two or three years. And last time we played there, uh, the Monophonics, my son's band, uh, went back there and did some shows with us, and uh, we had a great time. But we, we, we played in Des Moines and Lincoln and St. Louis, I think, and um, a couple other places. So, And uh, yeah, this is a really nice looking magazine, man. I wish you all the best with it. Hey, are we, are we good, you think? 